Jim. Good evening. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Well, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? Waller ordered me to stand down. You're kidding! <sighs> the nerve on her! I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. By then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, and then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you, but I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. I knew Lucius Fox for years, Gordon. The man was a saint. On the surface, maybe. There's more to the story. Riddler targeted him for a reason. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. You could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? He flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Dennett, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Dropping threats and walking away. You've hit a new low, Jim. Now I'll learn to live with it. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a wall path. If I warn Selena, she gets away. Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. 
She already betrayed me back at the workshop. Yes, Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. You know what must be done. It's done, Al. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. No. Uh huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're. You're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. That depends on what she does. If she hurts innocence, then I stop her. Well, that's... you really... This is what dedication looks like, huh? But if I get the laptop... There is no score, so win-win. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. What? What the? No pictures. Laptop behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. Dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud. I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. 
Vayne and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Vane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you! Remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this! Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah! Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I don't throw you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn, but it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, no, on here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging the leak. God damn it, Bane! You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Damn it. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? it? Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you! What do you want, John? Right, the laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And, uh, it's all yours. Yep, getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top! That hurts, Bruce. The high five is a time-honored traditional way to express brotherhood. Hey, you two! What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells. And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which is good for you, because you need help. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it. 
alone. <laughs> I'm really the only man for the job. Me and only me. You time out! And you! We need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here is one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. <sighs> hey, I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. So, thank you. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. Yeah, it does. That's the night I saved your life. First time I saw you. We had something then. Same as we do now. A give and a take. <laughs> you want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Guess not. Well, have a good night. Selena.
Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddlers like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Maybe we could actually work together for once. We've had our fun, haven't we? I know I stole from you. And I know I haven't done enough to make that right. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure. Really. Slow down there just a little bit. With me, you have to earn a kiss like that. So, I'd say it's time to find a black site. We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. I'll get in touch when I have something. Oh, so... Partners to a point? Not sure why I expected anything else. You've got my number. the laptop and the glasses we need to get past the encryption I can't blame you for keeping Ms. Kyle at arm's length uh, not after the way things ended between you last year even so I just wonder perhaps she might not be the worst thing for you she may not be the most savory individual she certainly is capable and Right now, capable is what we need. You're right, okay? I'll... I'll do what I can to mend fences. Well, glad to hear it. Just as soon as we deal with the problem at hand. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. It appears it'll take a moment to scan for viruses and other safeguards. If you have a second, I have something to show you. sounds that cut through the air. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Uh, 
it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. Ah, hello. So, how are you holding up? Well, I'm ready and able to serve. data. Invoices, schematics, design notes. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look, manifest. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. Is this a medical facility or a prison? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Gordon doesn't trust us, and Selina, well, certainly made sure she won't be coming to your aid. You keep distancing yourself. You need more support than just this old soldier. We're completely isolated. How are you supposed to deal with a threat this big without allies? Don't give me that look. Penguin and Two-Face were formidable, Bruce. Lady Arkham was terrifying. Quite frankly, I can't help but fear that this, this is much, much worse. I have the location of the black side. Need to get in there before Riddler's gang or the police do. Despite my reservations about her, I think it's time to reach out to Ms. Waller. What do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15.
Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Down, down! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! Hey, you need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... Violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. This is my fault. We will talk about this later. What in the. Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. Oh my... I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Oh, say Officers, it. please! I... He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do this! Dismissed. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just... I don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing... It's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon.
it was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... The truth is, there wouldn't be a bad man without your father. <laughs> he made the suit, the Batmobile, the gear, all of it. Bruce. He set the bar pretty high, huh? With Dad gone, maybe I can still help, if Batman is interested. Gets the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. <sighs> the way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but... Thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the Agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze, no, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. It's possible they're in on it. Uh, you may be right, but there's no way to tell until you get in there. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. 
Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. We have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover's been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes. I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD. In an alleyway. With the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up! Rise and shine.
Captain. Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the Black Sight. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there are more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. And they all fell down to the deep to drown, to the dark, to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them? But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black side, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early twenties, fresh-faced and optimistic. How am I doing? I'd kill to have a friend like that right now. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you- Yeah, Shaka! We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one. What's who? So gosh, 
That only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Wait, you cleared John? Yes, I cleared John. You think that guy's capable of lying to me? I mean, if only he would, that'd show a little spine. But if you really want to, you can ask him yourself. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Get him inside. You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? Wait! Harley! As great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... 
he's he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.